how can anyone in good faith and with a soul and a little bit of consciousness and wisdom that's melanated after watching Kamala Harris interview with CNN Dana Bash vote for her this woman didn't answer any questions she basically said she, she was going to continue the Biden administration um, policy far as Israel goes same thing she was asked was she going to cut off weapons she said no but then she went on to say basically in so many words that this is the Palestinians fault saying they was graping women when the, when the October 7th fiasco started come on man that's been debunked that's misinformation that the IDF put out trying to justify this holocaust this genocide that's going on and if anybody should understand what's going on there's mel melanated people in America the South Africans did that's how they took it to court why the hell we ain't getting it because like we was and still are under an occupation our police have been militarized they are the IDF here they are everywhere everywhere even with cameras out here they're still doing the things they did in the past that ain't stopped them law has been put in place to protect them the police can basically do anything they want to do okay the city need money they gonna find ways to get it write tickets invade homes come on like we're not new to this and so if you're melanated here in America and you watch Kamala Harris with that CNN interview and you still say you're gonna vote for her um, I, I don't even know what the, I don't even know what to say I don't want to say nothing derogatory about my people but it's idiotic so that's what I'm gonna say it's idiotic because you can't vote for somebody just because they're melanated and that question was posed to her are you black she couldn't even answer that and this is what black people are going to keep tripping themselves up. Not going on policy, but going by feelings and looks. The policy of genocide is going to continue. Militarized police over here is going to continue. The will of the people will be ignored. Corporations will, will be first tier. Look, I'm not saying if you vote for Kamala Harris, like if we're friends now, we can't be friends. That's not what I'm saying, if I know you. But if you voted for her and you're trying to come with me with anything else, like, yo, man, check this out. I got, I got something I need you to um check out. Trying to bring me any kind of enlightenment, any kind of um, news, wisdom, knowledge, or whatever. It ain't happening. It ain't, it's nothing you can tell me. It's nothing you can tell me if you vote for this woman when you know she's going to continue the effed up policies here as far as melanated people goes poor people goes and just regular people in general goes because she's for the military industrial complex she's for the corporations she's for the oligarchs it's just smoking mirrors with her she's just saying anything right now to get elected and not answering any questions and um, last but not least, she's going to be worse on the Palestinians than Joe Biden ever was. And that's all I got, man. Black folks, man, come on. We got to get it together, man. Peace.